I said, yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Got a new video for you today. You know, we got to talk about what happened in the NBA last night on the road between your defending champion, Milwaukee Bucks versus the Chicago Bulls. Y'all see, I didn't even have my little intro background screen. I went straight to the game stats because this was a savage beating by the Bucks. This is how you bounce back from a D-plus performance and show championship grit. That's exactly what the Bucks did last night. I initially thought before this game that the Bucks would win, but I thought it'd be Giannis scoring 40 or 50. The reserving cat said, no, we will participate in this win. We got you, Giannis. We know Middleton ain't here. We going to step up. And boy, did some people step up last night. Let's give props to Grayson Allen on the road getting buckets. He hit three straight threes in the first quarter. I knew it was on. Bobby Portis with the uh, protective eyewear on, going ham. Oh, what a great performance all around by the Bucks and a great adjustment uh, with the double teaming of uh, DeMar DeRozan, getting him completely out of the game early. My problem is, I, don't, I know we won by 30 last night, but... It shouldn't take a full game for you to make adjustments. You should be able to make in-game adjustments as a quality head coach. That's all I'm saying. I'm glad you made the adjustment, bud. But let's 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 speed that process up, sir. Let's speed that process up. But wow, what a great performance. The Bucks came out and dominated right off the bat yesterday. They were they they came to make a statement. Like this was like our bad. This is almost like an apology to the fans that they disappointed in five serve form, like, our bad, we got you. We'll just go wash them at the crib. And that's exactly what the Bucks did. They washed them. Giannis was on cruise control. The, all the others were stepping up and doing their thing. It was nice to see Connaughton getting a few buckets. Uh, this was just a great all-around performance on the road and just making an example out of Chicago. Now, the thing is, there's a short turnaround where the Bucks play Sunday. So they got to be on their square because the Bulls are going to come out ferocious as well after getting washed up by 30 i don't think they're gonna lie down they'll lose but i don't think they're gonna lie down so the bucks will have to play with great intensity this coming sunday as well but let's get into these numbers real quick so bucks destroy the chicago bulls 111 to 81 Giannis only took 12 shots 18 points nine assists seven rebounds four turnovers is still a little much but plus 36 Brooke Lopez played great defense, nine points. Uh, he only had two rebounds. That's why. Uh, Lopez's rebounding is always low. I don't know why. He's seven feet. He's just not a great rebounder, but great defender. Had two great blocks. Bobby Portis just being Bobby Portis, 18 points, 16 rebounds. Uh, a lot of his damage was done in the first quarter. Holiday had a solid game, seven of 14, uh, one of five from the three. Uh, but he did have uh, five, uh, six rebounds, six assists, and only had two turnovers yesterday, which is great. Wes Matthews played great defense. Connaughton finally hit a couple threes, two of seven, three of three from the line, plus 18. Grayson Allen played outstanding, eight of 12, five of seven, plus 15, 22 points. I mean, people were just pitching in. Like, this was a great all around performance for, for the Bucks. Uh, and all the others kicking in to, uh, uh, in Middleton's absence here. This is a great performance. And I don't. we don't even got to look at anybody else's stats. All we need to look at is DeMar DeRozan. He only took nine shots. We held him to 11 points. That's all we need to talk about. I don't care about Vukovic getting 19. I don't care about Levine. We completely bottled up DeRozan, and that's what we needed to do. And if we could have made this adjustment earlier, in the previous game, we would be up 3 nothing, but, you know, Bud has his multiple deficiencies. But he at least made the adjustment this game, so we'll give him his credit. <laughs> Buck shot decent from the field as well. I forgot to bring that up. 47%, 36% from three is okay. Uh, free throws, 71%. They only missed four, but they only took 14. So I just we just really played well. We held them to sub 40% from the field. Under 30% from uh, three, and they only shot 60% from the uh, free throw line. So this was just a, just a complete blowout, complete domination. But in these type of games, you got to understand that the following game, 
that the, the Bulls are going to come out playing hard. So we got to be ready to absorb that and push them back when they're trying to push us. But this is a great performance. I'm Amra. This is Amra's Logic. Just want to give you guys a recap. A recap. I said recap. Look at me. Uh, recap of the uh, NBA playoffs. Milwaukee Bucks versus Chicago Bulls game three, where the Bucks win 111 to 81 on the road and make an example out of our crosstown rivals, the Chicago Bulls. Gone.